Hi, this is Lonnie Barrett with EasyOrgSites.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your email account. We have set up the email address admin at EasyOrgSites.com. That's where we will receive incoming emails and also where contact form submissions will be sent. So here we see the contact form for our web page. Let's type in a test message. We will have to enter the CAPTCHA. And click Submit. Now the message has sent to our email. And we need to check the email. So that's what we're going to show you to do now. Scroll to the bottom of any page on your WordPress CMS website and click Email Login. You may get a security certificate warning. Disregard that message. Go ahead and click to continue to the website. And here you'll be prompted for your username and password. Your username is your email address. In this case, it's admin at easyorgsites.com. Then click OK. We prefer to use Squirrel Mail. You can browse around in the other services, Horde and Roundcube, if you would like. But let's click on Squirrel Mail. And here you will see in the inbox a new comment. And it says a comment from Monty Barrett. The comment form actually substitutes my name. You saw that I typed in my name in the comment box. And uh, the comment form substitutes my name. So this appears in the subject line of the email. So we can open that. We see that it is indeed the comment that I submitted. We can choose to reply to it by clicking Reply. We could also forward it. We could delete it. In this case, let's go ahead and reply. Click Send. Now when we're through with this, we can check the box to the left. And we can delete it. Once we've deleted it, it goes into the trash bin where it is stored. And every once in a while, you should purge the trash bin to remove all the deleted messages. If you check the navigation links, you will see that there are some buttons, Compose, where you can compose a new email. Addresses, where you can add information to your personal address book. Under the Folders link, we can create custom folders. So if you wanted to create a separate folder that would show up on the left sidebar for perhaps emails from membership prospects or from your members, you might type in to create a folder, Membership Inquiries. Then Create. And now we need to click Refresh Folder List. And you'll see over on the left that Membership Inquiries will show up as a separate folder now. This might be helpful if you want to keep track of incoming emails from your members, from uh, membership prospects, um, and so forth. Then you could set up uh, special folders on the left for that. Under Options, you can set up personal information about yourself. You can do display preferences is something that's commonly used where you can select how many messages appear on the opening window of Squirrel Mail. There are various 
items that you can configure here, and then when you are satisfied, just click Submit. You can click Search if you are searching for a specific email. In this case, let's search for the word blog. Click Search, and we see two emails that we've received with the word blog in the subject line. You can also search by who it's from, who it's CC'd, who it was to, or words that might appear in the body. Or you can simply select everywhere if you aren't sure. Under the Help menu, if you have any questions, you can go through and read through here and see if that helps you out. You can always return to the inbox by clicking on the inbox in the left sidebar. That's about it. I look forward to seeing you in future FAQ videos.